the science guy. Hey guys, I'm here with Zach and Ryan. They are a couple of the spectators here today for the Bill Nye the Science Guy show. So guys, how excited are you to see your legend? Really excited. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> so do they still play Bill Nye in uh, science class? Yeah, all the time. What's your favorite episode? I don't know, all of them. I guess you can. <laughs> Have you done any of the experiments yet in class? Uh, lots of science experiments, but not particularly them. Not particularly? But, yeah. uh, what's your favorite thing about Bill Nye? He's just a really awesome guy, just a lot of awesome experiments. <laughs> and guys, does science what? It rules. It rules. Sing the Bill Nye theme song for us. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Hey guys, I'm Jess Gillis for the Big Purple Couch, and I'm here with Bill Nye, the science guy. Absolutely cannot believe it. He is at Western University's sold out show. Bill Nye, thank you so much for being here. It's it's great to be here. We are so excited. So why are you here? Tell us about what you're going to be doing tonight. Well, I'm going to talk and show some slides, and it better be funny. But you guys invited me. That's why I came. Okay. So uh, uh, very excited to be here. We, I need you people to change the world. So you're here to talk about science literacy, and how is it? Why is it important to young people? Uh, you guys are living through. Um, this extraordinary time where we have over seven billion people in the world and uh, we're gonna have more and we're having climate change the climate is changing so you guys are gonna have to solve a lot of problems unprecedented in human history and that is gonna take science and not just science it's gonna take uh, international relations uh, uh, intellectual property protection legal things legal matters between people, between countries, conflict resolution. But the big thing is going to take innovation and people that believe in it, that believe it's important and want to invest intellect and treasure in the betterment of all humankind. Isn't that good? It is good and it's, you're right, it's so important. But I just got to ask you, does science actually rule? For me it does, yeah. There's no, it's the best idea humans have ever had. Science is if you're going to have a rule, it's a pretty good one. You try this, you, you notice something, you try to predict what will happen if you did this, then if it doesn't do that, you start over. It's a pretty good idea. It's, it's brilliant. And uh, it's, a human, it's a human endeavor. It's a process that people made up to learn about uh, our place in the cosmos, our place in space, and the nature of nature, which we are part of. Uh, speaking of space, I've been Googling you and you, every time I Google you, something about aliens comes up. So uh, talk to me about this. You, you were on a video where you wanted to talk to the aliens, what you would have said to them in English. I mean, it's fascinating. Well, there are, and you've probably heard this expression, billions of stars in this galaxy. And there's billions upon billions of galaxies. You just re it just seems reasonable that there's someone else out there. And you wonder, I hope, you wonder what they wonder about. And there's two questions that drive us all. Where did we come from and are we alone? And if you want to answer those two questions, you have to explore space. And it's a, it's a worthy exploration. And furthermore, it brings out the best in us when we go to accomplish great things in space, we do wonderful things on Earth. It raises everybody's expectations of what's possible. And so we achieve more by, by trying to find out where we came from and if we're alone. So tell me, what came first, the scientist or the comedian? Oh, the scientist, I think. Well, every, every kid, I was a kid for a while. For, uh, every kid is, is, is a scientist. Every kid is trying to find out his or her place in space, what we're all doing here. And that pursuit uh, was what carries you through your academic career. And then uh, 
comedy just makes things funnier. It does. Or it's that's what I've heard. Funny. That's what I've heard. I've heard that it does. It definitely does. I think you made it a lot easier for thousands of kids that's to learn cool. science. Jessica, I try to get it. I try to understand the, inf the influence of the Science Guy show, and I, I just don't think I do. I mean, you, you fill the audience, a bunch of people. I mean, I put my heart and soul into that thing, all right? But you it's did, and we going. all appreciate it. It's still going, 20 years later. It's crazy. 20 years later, guys, and we have Bill Nye at Western University. We are so excited to hear him talk about science today. It most definitely does rule. Catch up with us next time at the Big Purple Couch. And Bill Nye, once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Jessica. Hey, Bill Nye, the science guy here on the Big Purple Couch. It's so comfortable, informative, and fun. <laughs>